My name is Josue Velasquez. I'm a research associate at the Center for Transportation and Logistics. And what is your area of research? My area of research is sustainable logistics. Okay. And what is sustainable logistics? But it refers to uh, the research that concerns all the logistics operations when we consider the sustainability criteria. Okay. And what was your motivation behind picking this line of research? Uh, there is a market shift uh, that is actually moving towards uh, green consumers, green products, and a lot of pressure for regulation. And so the reality is that now that we have a lot of companies that are looking at this uh, sustainability criteria, and, uh, and many of these uh, let's say impacts are actually created because of logistics operations. So one of the main contributing uh, uh, factors to emissions growth are coming from transportation activities, particularly for freight. Tell us a little bit more about what you've been doing over the past year with this research. What are some of the findings? Well, uh, we've been working with different companies, CPG companies and uh, three, uh, third party logistics providers and also retail companies. And uh, what we've been doing is uh, collect some of the data they use for uh, logistics operations, particularly for uh, transportation, either tier one or tier two. And we've been trying to help them to make better logistics. So in, in, the easy part in terms of transportation is that uh, to tackle the sustainability criteria in this, in this context also helps to minimize and reduce costs. Okay. And where do you see this research going maybe in the next year? Well, there are many things that are coming because we have found, for instance, insights that do not match with the current practices of many, many companies. For instance, many of the, of the strategies to minimize the fuel consumption are related to the, the minimization of, of mileage. And we found, for instance, that by looking at this, this criteria like this, you may actually end up with an increase in fuel consumption. Instead of looking for routes that minimize the distance or time, you are looking for, for routes that aim at finding uh, those delivery nodes in which you have like the largest demand. So that means that trucks will go directly to these customers that are demanding like the vast majority of the utilization of your vehicle, and therefore the rest of the route can go uh, without this weight. And then you, you find an alternative, alternate solution that uh, actually maximizes the distance or time, but at the same time minimizes the fuel consumption. So we're trying to understand these trade-offs, and we are also working on this together with the, def the definition of optimal fleet compositions. So many companies, for instance, are now working on saying, well, I will change, uh, let's say, 10% of my fleet. So if you're going to change this fleet, what is the type of composition of vehicles that you should have in order to minimize the fuel consumption and therefore also to, uh, to get some savings in transport cost? If our partners wanted to reach out and start a project, are there particular areas that are of interest to you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if, if, if we have partners that they are either interested in, in measuring the carbon footprint uh, that they have in any logistics operation or partners that are in, interested in, you know, once they have these emissions, they want to do something with this and to make better decisions in terms of anything. As I said before, vehicle assignment, but this... This can also be applicable for context of inventory management or procurement or the, the, the network optimization, you know, like all this context, facility location, distribution centers, location of distribution centers, many, mm -hmm. many contexts like this. If companies are interested in finding alternatives to make these decisions and at the same time getting uh, savings in, in CO2 emissions and fuel, the, then they should look for me. Okay, thank you so much for the time that My you've pleasure. spent talking about your research. Are there any last points that you would like to hit? Anything else that you'd like to uh, add? No, I also would like to invite the companies to be part of these research projects and uh, um, thank you for your time. Thank you.